Hey YouTube, Scott Kazan, my balloon guy, back again with an amazing design. Thank you so much, Now Osaka from Japan, for sharing this very, very impressive design. It's also very complicated, so good luck skipping to the end and seeing if you can figure it out. I double dog dare you to skip to the end and not watch the tutorial and see if you can make it. Go ahead. No, really, do it. Master Twister, expert, ego, I'm so good. I don't need to watch videos. I can just look at pictures. Go ahead. Yeah, I thought so. Sit back and relax. <laughs> so just to clarify, we put two bubbles together. We made a four finger bubble. We made two pinch twist. We made two more four finger bubbles and brought it to the other side of the where you started. And then you made another four finger bubble and another four finger bubble. And those are going to be the cheeks and the middle bubble is going to be the forehead of the fish. And then with the rest, you're going to make the cheeks a little bit rounder and fatter. So we're going to go back down and give it like a little bit of a curve. And then we're going to need to make a very small one inch bubble, pinch twist, one inch bubble, and then go to the other side and do the exact same thing and make the other cheek and go back to the lips and then break off the excess. You dig. And as you can tell, the floor is a little different than my house because I recorded this video at Balloon Manor. Long story short, I showed Kelly Cheadle, who is the uh, person who was in charge of all things balloons at Balloon Manor, the picture of Now's design, and she said, I love it. Can you please make it? And I said, yeah, definitely. So I made one, and she goes, it's beautiful. Can you make six or seven more? And I was like, absolutely. So that's very, very cool. So now that the face is done, you're going to need to add the other color of the balloon, the other color of the fish, uh, into the pinch twist and to the lips. So we're going to add two balloons, one to the pinch twist in the middle, and one to the lips. And then from there, we're going to make the bottom chin of the fish. And I didn't do a perfect job as far as that I made the side fishy flippers a little small and I made the little dangly thingies at the bottom a little long so that's also why it's important to watch the video first and then twist along because if you just assume you know what you're doing and you're not listening then you're gonna end up making it wrong the whole time so yeah just play around with it it's gonna take a little practice and what I did was I made the four finger bubble for the chin uh, pinch twist and then I did a two finger bubble and then a pinch twist and a loop and then a two finger bubble and then I did a pinch twist and a loop and then a two finger bubble and I went back to the first pinch twist I made with this green balloon and the excess is the little dangly thingy so that you're done with that balloon you need a brand new balloon so however long you make the little dangly thingy, you know, I really should learn fish anatomy because I don't know what that thing is. <laughs> so, yeah, you got the two dangly thingies. You just match the first one and you twist it into the pinch twist and then you use what you have left to continue on with the design. So from here, you're just going to situate the flippers uh, behind the cheeks and we're gonna make a six to seven inch bubble. And we're gonna go up and down. So we're just gonna make a pair of those into the pinch twist. And that's not long enough to do anything with, so we're gonna break it. And then that balloon that's tied into the pinch twist in between the head, that kind of acts like a spinal cord because everything's gonna run through that balloon. See, I grab that balloon and I run it through the two bubbles and then I ride it up and you know it's not perfectly situated at the moment but it will eventually 
So just try to get everything in its proper position as best as you can. And now we're going to use the second balloon that's been sitting there. And we're going to start with a two or three finger bubble and then two pinch twist. And then you're going to make the two six inch bubbles because we're going to make the next layer that are going to run through the middle balloon. And after staring at the actual picture that now posted, he kind of tapers the bubbles to be a bit smaller in each layer. I'm still getting the hang of this design, so I don't think I did that. So just play around with it and have some fun. It's, this one's a tough one. It definitely took a while to really get used to it. Okay, so now we're going to add a new balloon to that pinch twist right underneath the chin. And we're going to make a bubble long enough where it will be past the blue balloon. And then we're going to make two pinch twists. And then we're going to do the same thing we just did. We're going to make uh, maybe a five inch bubble this time. And we're going to go up and down and we're going to run it through the spine. So what happened uh, in a couple minutes is I didn't like how I made the fins at first. So I broke them and had to kind of backtrack and fix my mistakes. So you're going to see what happens in a second because after this part, I just make a three finger bubble and then I make maybe five inch bubbles. And then you got a little bit of le left over. You run it through the spine. And normally that top bubble should be a little bit longer, but we got just enough to at least close this out and bring everything together. So we're going to bring the bottom bubble, the middle bubble, and the top bubble all in the middle to introduce each other and just tie it all in. And then you would add two pinch twist just as a anchor. And then from there, if you got leftover bubbles, you can make the little uh, finny part that's going like forward to the top of the fish's head or the bottom finny part that goes forward to like the belly part. I'll put some arrows. You'll see what I'm talking about in the picture. So at this point, guys, just, you know, cut loose. You could make it exactly as now made it in the picture. Uh, at this point, I don't feel like I really have to show you what to do. But, yeah, I mean, you're watching me make a mistake. I started uh, from the top of the head with new balloons. And I should have started at the bottom of the head. So I have that little excess dangly thingy. So here's the thing. I made the original flare part a little bit too big. And not as squarish as now had it. So... I wanted to make it really close to Now's design, so that's why I just made it more precise. But again, at this point, you can really cut loose, you can have some fun, and you can be a little bit creative because, you know, you got the base, you got the belly, you got the head. So all this extra stuff is just fluff. I mean, you can just go in any kind of direction you want to go in. See, I broke off that piece and put it back to the top, which is kind of counterproductive, but I mean... There's more than one way to get to a destination. I drove six hours to Rochester and I was using Google Maps, Waze, and my car navigation and all three of them had different routes. So at the end of the day, yes, I got to Balloon Manor, but I had three different GPSs telling me to go every which way. And that's looking pretty good. So we're gonna add one more bubble or one more balloon and make that two more balloons because I want to make a big tail and um, I, you know I want the tail to kind of stay where it's supposed to stay so I've had to do two bubbles on each side so this way it kind of sits in the middle when I did it with one bubble it kind of wanted to go to the left or to the right but again at this point I'm done teaching you you're just gonna watch and either 
do exactly what I did, or you can just make any kind of tail that you feel like making. And definitely, guys, play around with the color schemes because I went with Caribbean blue and lime green, and in a few seconds, you're going to see a black and white one. And from here, I mean, who knows? You can get crazy with all these colors. And the template and the tutorial that now put used uh, five different colors. This way, if you are using a PDF to learn, it's a little easier to follow than if everything's the same color. It's easy to get lost in it. So, yeah, I mean, this fish is great. It really is an awesome fish. I'm very proud of it, and I'm very grateful to now for allowing me to show this design off. I've been meaning to show this design for a while, but I just haven't been in the mood for YouTube. I can't explain why. I just haven't had the gumption to make videos and do tutorials. Let's hope that I have gotten over that and I'll get back into a good groove here. And you'll see a lot more videos coming up. And there it goes. So yeah, we're going to use the friendly eyeballs. I think they look great. They're pretty cute. I'm going to squeeze the air out so that they're nice and big. They look good. And we're done. That looks good. That's pretty. So yeah, this wouldn't be for like a kid's party or, the, you know, line work. But if you're making like a decor or decorating. See, that's the black and white one. That one looks pretty good. That one's got a white face. And here's another one with a black face. And they both look very cute. And you're going to see in a minute, I'm very proud that these fish were featured in the final build for Balloon Manor. Because believe me when I tell you, not all designs made the cut. If they were sloppy, unorganized, and just weird looking designs, they did not make the cut. <laughs> and uh, some of my designs did not make the cut, but at least these did. And I'm very, very happy about that. And I'm also very uh, happy just about Balloon Manor. It was such a great, great project. And I had a great time. And I can't thank uh, Kelly Cheadle and Larry Moss enough for contributing as much as they did to put the whole thing together. And thanks again to Now Osaka. I probably am done with Now Osaka tutorials. He only wanted me to do about four to five. I've done three, if you count the Goku. So I did the Goku, the spider, and the fish. I mean, I could probably squeeze out two more, but I think this might be the end of the line for the now Osaka tutorials. So thank you guys so much. Continue to support the channel and leave a comment, and I'll talk to you later. See ya.